It's October 12, 2020, 3.52 p.m. I don't know what I was thinking. It's episode 1044. So while blogging my roughs yesterday, I blogged this one where uh, someone was on Trump's staff was telling him that the debate commission now wanted him to take a drug test, you know, because Trump was yelling about Biden and everything. And in the cartoon, Trump was all like lumpy and didn't look good and stuff. But then while I was writing that and posting the rough, I thought, man, I still want to do this idea sort of, but better, and this hit me, and I don't know why, and then, but after I posted the rough and everything, a lot of people said that was one of their favorites, they just liked where I went with it, so I thought, oh, they're going to like this one better, and they did, they, they dug it, did it today, uh, this morning, I, uh, I, came, I went out and had three beers and some fish tacos with a friend yesterday while watching football, and when we got home, he dropped me off my parking lot, and we were getting the remnants of Hurricane Delta up here in Virginia, which landed in Louisiana, but now it's in Virginia. And when I got out, my entire parking lot was like a swamp, and <laughs> I just walked through water. I don't know how I'm trying to But then I went to sleep, because I was just like zonked out, and it was close to 7, and uh, I woke up about midnight, and I just like, well, I'll just go ahead and go to work. <laughs> so I, I did take like a three-hour nap today, but not even that long, not a two-hour nap. Um, I had to get up to get have groceries delivered, but uh, I drew this super duper early, and I uh, wasted a lot of time while I was doing it. I procrastinated it like crazy, which was fun. So it was kind of like back when I was still like getting up at two or three a.m. to draw. Whereas now I don't know. I'm not doing those four-hour sleep intervals anymore for some reason. I don't know why, but just my body's just not doing it now. All right, uh, let's do some shout-outs. Um, um. Robert Cotino says, with the aftermath of this election, look forward to the wailing and gnashing of teeth. <coughs> yeah, we do have that to look forward, and I will be doing it too. And he's still talking about that. Um, and uh, he's worried about Republican legislators and states uh, that Trump's trying to get them to negate the voters' choice in the election and send delegates opposite to the choice of the voters. There is a, a very quiet campaign of Republicans trying to convince legislatures to do that because a lot of these states that Donald Trump is going to lose are controlled by Republican legislators. Uh, but I think it's a lot trickier than that. So, uh, some complicated details. I don't know if they can actually just do it. Um, there would probably be some, a lot of court challenges to that shit. There's probably gonna be some court challenges for this whole election. It's, it's gonna be a pain in the ass afterward. Uh, the thing is, I'm gonna make a bold prediction. We're gonna know who wins on election night. Everybody says that we might wait weeks, whatever. I think we will know on election night. I think, cause after, I think, if Donald Trump loses Florida or Ohio, it's over. He cannot win without those two states. Biden can win without those, those two states, but Donald Trump cannot. So it's over if he loses one of those two. And out of those two, it looks like he'll probably lose Florida first. So I love Halloween for political cartoons, uh, but I hate this the trick-or-treater thingy. I might end up doing one of those, but and I've done those in the past, but they just kind of tiresome. I kept looking at this uh, one I did last year for CNN with these pumpkins that rotted early. <laughs> And I really dug that cartoon. I still like it. So I kept going back to looking at my pumpkins from that one. And I didn't really follow the guidelines that I did a year ago. I drew this pumpkin like 20 times, though, before I, what you see here. I like the way he turned out. It's all right. It looks better than Donald Trump, if you ask me. And if you go onto social media or on my website, you'll see the three pumpkins I've decorated with a pin in my house. Those little bitty tiny mini pumpkins you buy for a buck. Yeah, I made them all Trumpkins. Drum again, the bomb again, don't fall in If you're here watching this, do me a favor, leave a comment, okay? If you leave a comment, I will say your name. And plus, I need some more comments. Robert Cotino can't pull everybody's weight here, so somebody say something, all right? We lost our troll because I, I just stopped beating him, and I think it pissed him off. So somebody help. 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 Somebody say something. Say the comment. I said your name. All right, folks. Just... I know Bruce, you're out there, Cat Bubba. Okay, buddy, I'll talk to you on Tuesday. Goodbye.